buddy, the Sneaky Snake here for Brothers in Arms World of Warships. In today's video, I got some bonus gameplay for you here in the Rune. I just did a review on this fantastic ship yesterday, and this is just going to uh, further demonstrate the power that this ship possesses. Uh, I wanted to include this in the Rune review, uh, but it would kind of make the video be almost 45, 46 minutes long, and that certainly is not the case. Uh, I did not want that, so here it is uh, by itself. So I'm here on the map Okinawa, one of the newer maps into the game. I believe it was released with 0.5.6, and I am divisioned up with two of my division mates, Elastic Spider and Yukug, and they are both in their Tier 9 Baltimore. So we got the uh, got the nice little division going here with the uh, Tier 9 Cruisers. Good luck, so we're playing Domination here, and uh, at the beginning, after talking to them about our course of action, we decide that we're going to go try and make some trouble up at the Objective Alpha. Objective A on this map in the few times that I've played here, seems like it is the most critical contention point on this map. Whoever takes it is able to wheel around uh, towards the enemy's base, and it makes it very difficult for them to get out. If you're able to push them down towards uh, in between B and C, hopefully you're able to take B as well, and you basically have them cornered off in uh, one little section of the map, and it causes the enemy team to have to be extremely aggressive in retaking B, or you're pretty much guaranteed the victory. So, again, that's why we decide to head up to A. Now, watching the rune review, you know that the ship has fantastic artillery. It has pretty good AA. The German cruisers are well known, well documented for their fantastic armor piercing shell capabilities. Maybe not so much with the penetration, but the damage, oh boy, you feel it. 5,900 on a citadel with each shell. And these guns have a fast rate of fire. They shoot out to a very good range of around 17 and a half kilometers. Arguably the best tier 9 guns on any cruiser in the game. So an enemy North Carolina gets spotted heading over to A, and there's also an enemy Nagato heading over there as well, so I'm sure there's going to be plenty more ships uh, that we're going to have to contest ourselves with. And it just so happens that a Hachiharu gets spotted as well at B, and Objective A has also been started to be taken as well. Uh, known as Salient there, so we're going to have to go in there and figure it out. Take my first pot shots at that enemy Hachiharu that is uh, going into his smoke, and I get some Decent hits, five hits for about 3,000 damage done. All right, the first salvo of the game was a success. We'll see if we can get some more. Take another shot at the Hachiharu as he goes off, but it doesn't appear that those shells are going to hit anything. So at this point, the enemy North Carolina comes in range about 17.4 kilometers, and I'm looking for a shot, trying to loop some shells over the, uh, the top of the island there, and I am able to do so. Objective Alpha gets taken by the enemy. And you see, at these longer ranges, I'm actually able to get off my next salvo before the first one even reaches the target, which is just awesome. My aim was well off, though, however. Enemy Chapayev gets spotted, and I get detected. So now I know this. There is an enemy destroyer somewhere in Objective A. So I'm going to pop my Hydro Acoustic. German Hydro lasts a long time. A beautiful 10,000 damaging salvo there, right as I pop the Hydro. And to good avail, right there, uh enemy torpedoes coming in, and I have absolutely no chance of getting hit by them. A simple course change, and I am good to go. Enemy shells from the North Carolina come flying over. And again, uh, before I lost my train of thought, uh, the reason why I popped the Hydro as soon as I went around the corners, because I know I'm going to be spotted for the entire duration of the time that I'm pushing into A, and a German Hydro lasts for two minutes, so you need to be able to use it effectively, and I have a Hydro to blow. Obviously, you want to be using it to try and hunt down enemy destroyers, but sometimes it can come in handy in situations just like so. So my first salvo on the Nagato does about 3,000 damage, and another one gets another 3,000 damage. Now, this is something right here that you need to uh, understand when you're playing in Japanese battleships, specifically Nagato and Amagi. That angle that he's providing me right there is bad. Only 2,000 damage done. However, this salvo coming up here is going to just show you exactly what I'm talking about. When you're slightly moving away... Eesh. Eesh, 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 eesh. Oh boy. Citadel, three hits, about 9,000 damage done, and I got another great salvo on the way. When Japanese battleships turn away like that, all it does is just presents the flat part, the upper part of the hull, uh, not, ne not necessarily next to the deck, but certainly above the waterline, and it's extremely weak. And all those shells hit there, and you saw back-to-back -back great salvos there, getting some extremely good damage done. The enemy Fubuki gets caught near the end of my... Hydroacoustics duration, he's five kilometers away, so I tell my division mates, hey, don't worry about your radar, I'm going to keep him spotted on Hydro. 
and that Fubuki probably has absolutely no idea that my hydroacoustic is keeping him detected. He probably thinks it's one of my friends in the Baltimore. So I'm already up to 40,000 damage done off of 45 shell hits in one citadel. And the Fubuki's taking some pretty hard hits. They're staying bowing after he launched his torpedoes, utilizing their forward guns, and for good reason. And we have now pushed the Fubuki off the cap. Our team, a little while ago, took Objective Bravo. And now you can see here, as we're kind of wheeling the enemy around, we're trying to push him out of Objective Alpha. Get one last HE Salva off of the Fubuki before he goes behind, and I do set him on fire with six hits. Unfortunately, he already used his repair trying to get out of there. He will not be able to put the fire out. And we're about to secure the first kill. There it is. More high explosive out there at the Nagato, and I switch back to armor piercing right as we capture Objective Alpha. And again, you can see here, we're now starting to wheel the Chapaya of the Nagato, the North Carolina, basically back to where uh, their spawn was. So we've now gained the momentum. We've also destroyed two ships to their one. So I'm continuing my armor piercing, and look at that. 15,000 damage done. You see that Nagato is just angled away slightly, but he's still moving on more or less of a parallel uh, course. And Gosh, that armor piercing just goes through it like butter. Again, as you're looking at the Nagato right here, above the waterline, below the deck. Now, that angle that he's providing me is a bit too extreme, but boy, when you catch those things in the turn, and Amagi's at tier 8 as well, you can wreck them. And quite frankly, even Azumos are not necessarily spared from the havoc that can be wrecked by these glorious 203mm shells. So I'm racking up a, a very solid damage total right now. Don't mind me firing into the island. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. 63,000 damage done, and we're just over six minutes into the game. And when you count the amount of time that it took to get into position, I've done a lot of damage in a very short amount of time. Now, I'm going to do something here that I do not necessarily recommend or suggest doing. A rune is a very bad ship to uh, take out when you're trying to push enemies because you have to open up so much of your broadside in order to do so to get those rear turrets firing. Get some more good shots there on the Nagato. So you see here the kind of angle that I am, or maybe lack thereof of an angle. If that North Carolina decided to pay attention to me, I'm pointing at about a 30, 35 degree angle towards him. His shells would certainly be able to go in, uh, even at that angle, potentially get the Citadel and do some massive damage. That Nagato's about to burn to death, and uh, looks like he used his repair. 822 health, how about that? Get some more high explosives, switch back to AP, shoot some AP now, hit that enemy turpets. And with the recent buff with German high explosive, I've actually snagged three fires so far in this game, which is actually pretty good. Nothing you can complain about there. I switch back to high explosive now, trying to take out this enemy Nagato before he is able to use his damage control. Don't know how long that's going to be, but you better take him out just in case. Pretty solid hit on that turpets there with five shells, and holy shit, that's a lot of torps. <laughs> oh boy. He went into B and... Uh, there we go. Got the Nagato. He went into B, and, well, I don't think that was the right decision. Now, again, here, keeping a look at the mini-map, we're still quartering them off now. Uh, at least, if you split the map in half, up and down, we've pushed them all the way back to uh, more towards their spawn. And it just really helps. It really helps to uh, get all the enemies herded in one place, so to say. Got more armor-piercing shells loaded. Going for that Pensacola. The aim was off just slightly. This will do about 2,500 damage. And it's at this point that, noticing the Chapaya of the North Carolina have literally paid no attention to me whatsoever, I'm going to try and make them pay. Put some more armor-piercing, and I'm doing my deadly work at that North Carolina, 13 kilometers away. And at this point, I also notice the enemy of Togo full health. Just goes out of detection. I shoot anyway. And you can see here, throughout this replay, the guns have literally been firing non-stop ever since I made first contact with that enemy Hachiharu. And that's just what the rune is. It is one of those ships that you just don't want to catch one-on-one. -on -one. You just don't want to catch it firing at you with reckless abandon. You're going to get absolutely destroyed. Get a good salvo on the Tago. Ugh, just short, just short. No matter. Fix the aim just slightly. Another salvo out. Looking. Eh, off again. Now I'll start taking some damage there from the Chapayev of the North Carolina. At least the Chapayev, anyway, has noticed the threat that I'm now possessing. There we go. 14k on that enemy Otago. Knocked his engine out. Get another salvo out. Sitting at 18,000 health. He turns away just so slightly. Dodges my shells. Still looking for more shots on there. And now it's at this point that the enemy North Carolina makes his first shot at me. Take actually a pretty decent hit. 
10,000 done to that enemy Otago. And that North Carolina, 10 kilometers away, is going to pay. Oh, boy. 3,127 damage on the first one. Pick up a Confederate. Shoot my next salvo. Ooh, there it is. Double that, 6,400. Now looking for a shot on the enemy Otago. And now this angle that I'm providing is not the best. Starting to turn in right as the North Carolina fires. High caliber awarded. 4,000 damage done on that enemy Otago. Take another shot from the forward guns here. You're going to see that this is a smart move that that North Carolina is trying to do. He's trying to uh, seriously close the distance to me and pre prevent the lead. What? <laughs> I guess uh, I'm not a threat anymore. <laughs> Load the armor piercing again. Looking for a good shot right on that thick, juicy broadside as he turns away. There we go. 10,000 damage done off of eight hits. And I'm all of a sudden up at 131,000 no damage so far. He angles away, still takes about 4,000 damage done, however, I load the HE. Now, I'm starting to lose a decent bit of my health now, still under fire from those enemy cruisers over there, as I set the North Carolina on fire as well. He's about ready, getting ready to get taken care of. Shoot my last HE salvo at him. Four hits, a little bit of damage done, and he gets taken out by our friendly Nagato. At this point, it's just a matter of time until we wipe out the enemy team. And secure the victory. He's trying to get the last little bit of damage done. A good shot from our friend of the Turpets takes out the enemy of Tago. And now the Chapayev, who had been shooting at me for the longest time, is now the sole object of my desires. Turning away, loads some HE. Figured that he was going to turn away from me completely and continue on. 3,300 damage, and that's actually pretty good. Load the AP as I shoot another salvo of high explosive out. Let's see what we got here. All right, knock out his torpedo tubes. Eh, that's okay. We'll let the AP take care of this. He turns away slightly. Is it going to even help him? No. <laughs> 11,000 damage done. Get the final salvo off on this Chapayev. Will I secure kill number three? Yes, sir. And holy crap. Wow, what a blitzkrieg in roughly 10 minutes. Racked up 156,000 known damage, disincluding the fires. Three ships destroyed, one assisted base capture, Confederate and high caliber. What can I say? That was absolutely breathtaking. Just walked right in there, utilizing the guns, both high explosive and AP, and just swept the enemy team from the field. That right there is exactly the kind of thing that you can do in the rune if you just leave it alone. It's something that, again, is mentioned in my review time and time again. People just don't respect this ship. They don't feel that it's really big of a threat. And we just absolutely obliterated them. As, yeah, I got a little boastful in the chat. <laughs> Hashtag wrecked. Oh, boy. That's okay. About ready to wrap up a, a fantastic victory here, though, on the Okinawa map. There's the last kill by our division mate, Yukug. And that is the end of the game. Taking a look now at the post-battle results... Wow, what a result. 414,000 credits earned, about 4,000 base experience, Confederate high caliber, seven citadels, four fires, three ships destroyed off of 191 hits for a grand total of 172,000 damage done. Taking a look at the team score, easily tops on the leaderboards for base experience, 2,651, and a good effort by my division mates as well. Elastic Spider with a kill and almost 2,000 base, and Yukug with two kills and one plane destroyed for 1526. A fantastic result there by our division, six of the 12 kills. So, yes, you watched my review of the rune. You saw what it can do. I just wanted to get another video out here, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I just unlocked the Hindenburg, which I am extremely excited for. You will be having a review on that coming up sometime in the near future. But I enjoyed every second of the rune. It is a fantastic ship, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. With that being said, have a good day. Sneaky Snake out.